Hi, Gemini. I am the Awakened Dreamer, and I am here to give you a mid-month reading for the month of July, okay? So I'm first going to just try to cleanse the energy a little bit from the previous reading. It is raining here at the moment. Sorry for the rain in the background, if you can hear it. All right, so let's start off your reading by pulling one or two Spirit Animal Oracle cards from the uh, Colette Baron Reed deck. Oh, it's lying. Very interesting. I just had to stop and start your reading over due to some complications and this card had come out last time. So you got the hummingbird spirit, be here now. And I don't usually, especially with the animal oracle card deck, I don't usually look at the bottom of the deck, but I for some reason felt drawn to. And we have the beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. Okay. There may be a foundation of some sort that you need to lay. But I do feel like from this Hummingbird Spirit card that you're being advised at this time to, to center yourself and stay present, okay? Don't get too ahead of yourself and don't, you know, live in the past. Let those lessons be learned and keep it present, okay? Keep it centered. And, but I do feel like you are going to, at this time, you're feeling a bit, you're feeling very energetic, very, uh, almost feisty, Okay. Interesting. All right, let's continue by pulling. Doing a simple six card spread for you. Let's actually shuffle a little bit. A little bit of shuffling real quick. Spirit, I need to start with one or two jumper cards. We're gonna simple six card spread for our lovely Gemini's, please. Ooh. Okay. All right, so to start off, uh, I we got the Eight of Cups. So here, what I'm getting as is there is is that there is a situation at this time you are feeling inclined to walk away from. You're feeling like it no longer serves you, and it is time to up and walk away there's nothing wrong with that there's a sense of power and satisfaction with knowing your worth and knowing when something is no longer serving you and no longer holds a positive placement in your life okay and being able to keep your head up high and walk away from it but at the same time this may all be going on for you, this kind of walking away uh, energy, but we also have the Seven of Swords coming next. So what I'm seeing here is that you're feeling the need to, to work towards your goals, to uh, achieve your success in life, to do it at least at this time in the dark, okay? A bit quietly. And when the time is right, you, I feel you will um, announce it to friends and family and uh, for some of you in the general public, if not already. 
because I do feel like for some of you in order to succeed with this goal the general public it needs to be aware so therefore I feel like this message is more so about you um, holding back from sharing what you're working through with those closest to you at the time at this time friends family lover but moving right along we have the world's card See what I get from this card, what energy I pick up on. I do feel like things are a certain cycle of yours is starting to come full circle, is what I'm picking up on. Okay. Wrapping up old cycles that no longer serve you, excuse me, no longer serve you, and beginning to head down a road that serves you that much more okay that aligns you with your destiny rather than making you feel blocked and less able to achieve what you are sought out to achieve okay and then we have the emperor card so here i'm seeing let's first show it to you I feel at this time you, or if not yet soon, you're going to be feeling very strategic, very methodical, very mature about your, your next steps in life, your next um, decisions in the game of life, if you will, given he has a chess piece in his hand. Yeah, I feel like at this time you're not jumping into certain situations or making decisions too quickly, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like you are, you're being smart about your moves, okay? Not feeling too risky at this time. Interesting. And then we have the lover's card. So for some of you, I do feel like this eight of cups was a love connection, okay? That you walked away from. And for some of you, a, a new love offer is coming in quicker than you expected after you uh, walk away from what wasn't serving you. And I mean, to me, that honestly makes sense because when you think about it, if you were for who knows how long, you know, with this person that you were feeling, you know, either trapped or burdened or, you know, just didn't feel like things were clicking anymore uh, or if it was just toxic or unhealthy in any way. But when when you what I'm trying to get to is when you have something like that, a situation, even a job, it may be where it, it's blocking those positive energies from coming through those positive opportunities that the universe that spirit is trying to plant in front of you they're trying to um trying to realign you with things that benefit you that are healthy for you okay and so it's going to be amazing how quickly once you let go of this this unhealthy connection how quickly it's replaced with something magical and beautiful okay and for a small portion of you i feel like this is more so pertaining to uh you rediscovering the love for yourself your self-love okay you finally are, are fully understanding your self-worth Wow, that's amazing. Okay, and the last card in the six card spread is the Queen of Wands. So let's see. I feel like as time progresses, as you start to let go of what's no longer serving you, what's um, 
been, you know, weighing you down a bit, you're going to be feeling almost free, you know, between walking away from what's not serving you and for some of you discovering new love, uh, whether it's for yourself, for yourself or for someone else is bringing out this beautiful aura, this beautiful energy that you're vibrating or you will be vibrating soon enough. And, you know, if it's pertaining to the self-love, you know, once you start, you know, taking care of yourself and making sure, you know, putting yourself first, you know, at times to make sure you're good, it, your aura is different. You know, you vibe differently. People notice that, okay? You almost shine, you vibrate. And people are then attracted to that energy, okay? So I wouldn't be surprised if you let go of what's not serving you, make your way into a new healthy situation, and then you start to get even more offers. Where it felt like things were feeling a bit dry and you know what not before, because of the change in your aura, the change in your energy. I love that. Okay, so let's finish off your reading with one star seed oracle card. One last uh, piece of advice or message for our lovely Geminis. Thank you, Spirit. One last card for our Geminis. Alrighty. You got You're Not Alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. Ooh. Yeah, so what I'm picking up on from this card is that you are being advised that when things feel a little bit, um, you're feeling a bit alone or feeling like there's too much solitude in your life, that you're there are a lot of potential or a lot of uh, positive physical connections and um, people in your life. And so for some of you, there's, there's a need to, for uh, some new appreciation for those individuals or some unexpected appreciation will come through. But it's almost like when you do enter that moment of solitude at one point you it was almost meant to happen you know you're almost drawn from by spirit into this hermit mode I'm surprised the hermit card didn't fly out um in order to help you reconnect with yourself reconnect with spirit real interesting that that just came through And like I said, for some of you, that goes back to this rediscovering your self-love. Okay? Love for yourself. Wow, that's amazing. All right, Gemini. So on that note, before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And uh, go down below and like this video. And I hope you have a great rest of the month. And I will see you next time. Bye.